Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's play. This is your host, Mr. Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Oh shit. The camera just came up on me. Alright, let's play. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? It's Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another <laughs> repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Mm. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Some of this brightness. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. Lodgok. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Lodgok. Believe it or not, oh. It's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? Mm. I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. <gasps> he is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain time more. Time is of the essence. Uh-oh. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, oh. Oh. oh shoot. Hmm. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. Sexy. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. <laughs> I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. Glad you me. I suppose we'll meet My again twin. in the map chamber. <laughs> it's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Imagine if they see Professor Black flying on a broomstick. <laughs> With all shenanigan. Uh-oh. Mm. Where are the students now? It's time to check on the students. Students. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um... Places uh -oh. to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it oh, here, shit. sir. Uh... Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. 
<clears throat> I'll take it of now. Of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Uh-oh. It's probably me. The other me. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Well, stop complaining. What could the headmaster want? You did. Oh shit. Oh man, my neck hurts. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Headmaster, here, yeah. what could he want? Uh, I don't want to talk to nobody right now. Greetings! I, I mean, out of my way, children! Professor, a word? Professor Black, again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. Let's do it. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. <laughs> that you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... How you dare you call it silly? It's impossible sometimes. Quidditch? Sir. For the best good game ever. Right to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Can I just say yes? Just do it, and later imagine real Mr. Black, Professor Black, finds out. All right, hold, hold on. So I'm good. I've got a good mind to write the Department of Magical Games and Sports. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. Uh-oh. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm. I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> oh, no. Learned the password from Scrope. What did we do to deserve him as a... Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. They all hate Mr. Black and they had to make me Mr. Black? Why? Like, for real. Shit. It's all good. I like challenges. Where is he taking me? Okay. I suppose I'd be curious about people. I'm trying to avoid all the side talks and because they'll put me on a new mission. I want to finish one first. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor, a word, please. Word future. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Oh, wow. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. That's true. Ahem. I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... 
Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look in for... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. It's a lot of mission. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Hmm. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance wow. as his house help. Ahem! I want to give a Attention, speech. students! I hear Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Oh, shit. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Well, what the hell of is course. that? I, uh... What is that? Master does remember it. Fuck, what was it? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. <laughs> it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. <laughs> oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. Toujours. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. Oh, shit. I best get out of sight. Uh. Uh. Oh, shit. He's burping. Stop burping. Ah, <clears throat> <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. <clears throat> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Pujor. Alohomora. Hold on, what am I doing? I forgot. Oh, okay. There you go. Wait, what the fuck am I doing here? This is so much easier. Why did they complicate this now? Incendio. They're taking me from somewhere from the basement. Open this one. Finally, so bright. Oh my god. Alright, first one. Four, four, and two. That's six. Hold on, what? So that'll be zero. That's owl. 
Second one is five and one. I see this. Uh, five, six. Five. Two, one, two, three. Where's the other one? Where's this other one? Wait. Revelio. Anyway, it's just so bright. Sometimes it's okay. Hold on, that's hard as well. But no. this Rebellion. can't see where's the other part of the door shit I think it's down somewhere messed up wait oh no <sighs> Oh no no no, come on. Hey, it's a glitch! Shit! Seriously? Oh, I don't It's Revelio! Protego! Revelio! All right, let's do something. Akio. Revelio. Akio. Incendio. Revelio. Piece of shit. I think it's down somewhere. It's not making sense. Yeah, I know, I'm coming. This is so weird. No, it's time. Revelio. It's so bright. I'll be back here in a bit. Another one. Good for you. Okay. <sighs> we have one there. That's one question. All right, we have one and we have two here. That's one. Fifteen. Hmm. Fifteen and two. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 6, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's alligator, lizard, whatever you want to call it, 5. Hmm. Alright, this one is number 9. Nine and three. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine and seven. And seven we have that octopus. Oh 
Hopefully. I don't think that was worth it. That's you. Revelio. Let's finish the mission. And do all the puzzles later. this thing can bring us oh. I've seen this in a couple places and I, I wasn't sure what to do now I see I call this no Revelio what do you get there Why is it taking me down again? Oh. Revelio. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. All right. Do it. Toujours pure. Dark again. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. <laughs> we shall speak when you are finished. Let's do it. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? On the book in the headmaster's office. Revelio. That must be the pedestal. Am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Fable? Wow. You must move <laughs> swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Hmm. 
In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Okay. But wait, how do I... I can't use any magic. No. How do you want me to avoid them? Without being seen? All these people are in front of me. I don't have anything else I can use, nothing. Okay. I should have run when I could. They're gone. No. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Okay. I need to time this just right. straight ahead. Dang, that was close. Death! You can't escape death. Have any one of you watched Final Destination? It's an old movie, Final Destination. It, there was one, two, three, four. Check it out, maybe. <laughs> Crazy shit. How could this happen? Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. While I can, Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Wait, how did where did it go? Shit. Okay, I see. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them.
Shouldn't have taken the risk, man. How could he just fail in this game even once? That was silly. Oh huh. no shit. Yeah. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Even if you are invisible, they get to see you if you're so close to them. Same thing with the goblins, whoever. You gotta be maintain a distance. You have to wait for them. Nothing this way, no danger. There must be a way to find you. Oh shit. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Shit. Anything I can take? Scares. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> damn. I can't do nothing? This is tricky. Now's my chance. Oof. I don't want to make any silly mistakes again. That's the way forward. I think I'm invisible. Yeah, but you were already invisible, right? What is this? I don't know. I don't know if I should get out from there. And he's crawling. Why is he crawling? If he's invisible, he should be running around. Oh. I see. That's the only way forward. Whoa! the fuck hold on <laughs> this is oh wait or maybe i can go to them because i'm invisible right they can't see me at all oh. i can get closer to them now this is different cool. this is the way forward finally free now where are you neve Yet to find me. Keep searching. 
while this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Okay. With this, I can do something now. Okay, now I'll be able to fight. Shit. Uh. It literally gave me some of the powers. Revelio. I see. You can't even. Protego. You can't even select any powers. It auto selected. Revelio. That's all I can use. Oh wow. Alright, let's go. The pulse! Hey, it didn't work. Bombarder! Mm. Okay, let's play. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> Whoa. I can roll into them. I'm powerful now. Defender. Descender. 
<sighs> More stone. Oh shit. Nothing is what it seems. Oh wow. We'll do the trial of the stone. <laughs> She's gone. Neve's dead. Oh poor Neve. <laughs> Me. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. She's turning evil. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Hmm. New quest. Speak to the newly arrived keeper. 
that was done with one, so I can start a new one. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. Oh wow, I know. You are so... Young? <laughs> I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Mm. It was fascinating. It was disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Hmm, I'll be learning a new magic. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. <laughs> I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Yeah, hopefully one quest down. Alright, I'm gonna break this apart. See the next quest in a second. Am I not done? Yes.